What's going on guys, it's Morton here, and I told some of you guys I would be bringing you a second um, video dealing with these uh, child abuse parents and the possessed baby. Um, so I actually found this video right as I was working on you know, the information and the tags and all the stuff for the last video, I found this video. Uh, so let's take a look and see. So if you do drink too much coffee, there can be a problem. It may keep you up at night, that's no bueno. But the kid in this next video might have had some caffeine or maybe something else more sinister because what you're about to see in this baby monitor footage might have you thinking this baby is possessed. Could you imagine walking in and seeing that, Mom? Okay, well, something I noticed that at least the the woman in the middle seems completely disturbed by this, which is, that's great, because that's what this is. It's a very disturbing child abuse video. No, that is that terrible. Well, first of all, I didn't, I, I personally didn't think that looked possessed. I was waiting, uh, thank goodness it didn't happen, but for him to some fall balance, over. doesn't he? That is terrifying. That is, that is, I, I have to give, Credits to that child, though. That's some amazing balance. And I, I was so intrigued by this, we had to get in touch with the parents, and those parents are joining us. And uh, Kate and Aww. Chuck, obviously, uh, I'm assuming you saw that footage and were as alarmed as all of us are in the studio and watching at home. What did you think when you saw that? We were pretty shocked and terrified, for sure. Is it just me, or does Connor look dead? Like, this kid, they're doing an interview for the news, how is this kid not awake? Um, oh. I was just very blessed that he um, didn't get hurt. Did that wake you up that time, or did you only see it after the fact? Well, we saw the video after the fact the next morning. Okay, I'm a little confused here. They say they watched it after the fact. Why would they be watching the footage afterwards in the morning? Like, it, does nothing happen in their day? Okay, I gotta spend the next six to eight hours watching the baby monitor footage. All right, I'll be back, see you guys later. He actually ended up falling out of his crib um, <gasps> shortly after that. I was outside of the room when it happened, but I wasn't watching the video as it occurred. I mean, Connor has crazy balance. I think does that's he, a gymnast. He's he, a future does he, Olympic does gymnast. Does he do this stuff all the time? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm curious, obviously, after learning of his gymnastics abilities, what have you done in terms of his crib? Well, we're in his room. You can see it's it's yeah. gone. It happened one time, and, and now he's in a toddler bed. Mom said it happened twice, but Dad said it happened one time. And after the one time, they switched beds. But in the video that I had, he did it twice. So the dad is lying, and the mom messed up and said it happened twice. Yeah. And that, and that may be the takeaway. I don't know. When I look at these parents, it's just like... Something about them is off. Like, it looks very fake to me. Like, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's just my opinion, but they look very fake and very disingenuous when it comes to their kid being hurt. You know, if a child's crawling out of the crib, make sure you have a mattress that's lower to the, make sure it's lower to the floor. And, and I love the monitor, because otherwise, how would you know? Too. It's a miracle that these things, you know, I'm dating myself, but obviously there wasn't this high tech. We had baby monitors, but not the night vision, James Bond video surveillance kind. And so you would, you would know it's time to drop the bed or get a, t a day bed or get rid of the crib when you woke up and there, your toddler or baby was standing right next to you. <laughs> you know, and so I said, when that happens, I will get rid of the crib. And you know, my daughter is 16 and a half. She's still in her crib. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, when, you, when you see them and they're standing up in the crib holding onto the rails like... You know they're getting ready. You know, the next step is they're going to make great escape Well, there. he's adorable. We're just I'm so ready. glad that Connor's doing well. Thank you so much, Kate and Chuck, for joining us. Well, I told you guys I'd bring you an update video on this. Um, this is the newest version video that I've seen on Connor and, and his child abuse parents. Um, so now that you've seen he got a new bed, that's at least a little bit more comforting for everybody out there watching. Um, 
but they still don't skip the fact that his parents did this and used him to make money. But there you go. I told you guys I'd bring you a second video on it with a little bit of an update. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you hopefully next time. Thanks for watching.